Hello, human beings of the world. It's Maku. Maku this, yo. Uh, we're here in Palau Hotel. We just checked out. Actually, they never mentioned if uh, the, the room was good. I guess it was fine. Um, but we're in a car right now. We did a car rental just for kicks. And uh, it's actually a really nice way to get around the town, uh, around the island, because um, you could walk to places uh, with a taxi. It can get expensive. So we thought, like, let's get a car, even though we actually didn't use it at all yesterday. You can actually arrange for a free transportation shuttle uh, to and from your hotel and your uh, restaurant, for example, uh, for a lot of places. Not all of them, of course, offer that, but for a lot of them, they do, which is great. Like the, the Impact Tours, they give us a free shuttle. Elilai Restaurants Reservation, they give us a shuttle. Palau Hotel would have given us uh, a ride, but there was... Um, they, um, it was really late already. It was like 3 a.m. when we arrived. So we'll see if I'll suggest for you to get a car, but um, it looks like it's a great way to get around. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around. I can't speak English. Yeah, we'll just be driving a little bit, just just for a tiny bit, just a, just a wee bit. Unten shima show. driving south from downtown uh, from Palau Hotel and uh, ended up in an aquaculture center and <laughs> it was a dead end but there's kind of a nice view right here it's nice right and also I forgot to mention when you get a car here I think 99% of the cars here are on the right hand side see it's really dark but uh, <laughs> it's not on the right hand side uh, and that's because they are being imported from Japan, which is close by, and there's a lot of Japanese people who live here and work here and have fun here. Um, but the weird thing is, it is American style for the road, meaning it's on the right side, as you'll see from this uh, car that's coming. So it was on the right side, but most likely the, the steering wheel is also on the right side. So it feels really we weird at first also like, you know, with um, uh, using your the transmission, when shifting transmission, it's with your, with your left hand and also the, <laughs> it was funny because the, the signal, the signal light is gonna be on your right hand instead of the left hand. So that was confusing. I turned, I turned on the wiper and it was like not raining at all. But uh, here's a view. Hello again. So we went to go check out Mug Mug, but it's exactly at 2 p.m., which is when most restaurants here in Palau uh, close. They close, and uh, Mug Mug opens again at 5 p.m. Uh, I don't know about other restaurants, but that's what I heard from the hotel uh, at around 2 p.m. They were like most restaurants closed um, So we're gonna go drive again uh, Also today it was really sudden. It was like wow, it's sunny and then suddenly like that it was there was rain and then the rain stopped again It's like sunny again There's island weather for you. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go drive Yeah <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Mark. 
Look at this, you. we're here in Mogmog -Mog in Palau, our last day in Palau. And uh, we're here because we saw a recommendation, also it's right across Palau Hotel. We're gonna be trying out the Palau assorted plate first. First, let's try out this tuna pokey. Whoa, there's cabbage in the bottom. It's tuna pokey. Oh my god, it zoomed in. Autofocus to the rescue. Itadaki maku. Yute. Oishii. Mm. The tuna tastes really fresh. I like how it's seasoned lightly because a lot of the times I'll eat poke in the US and it's just so heavily seasoned with like soy sauce and all these like lava sauce or all these, you know, it's just way too strong. You can't taste the fish anymore. But here, because the fish is fresh, it's right off the island, super, super fresh. You can really taste the fish um, and it's lightly season it's got some awesome uh, green onions uh, and sesame and a shoyu and it seems like a sesame oil base most likely I love it ponzu maybe no not ponzu there's no citrusy taste coming I love it delicious next up there's this random piece of okra <laughs> right here just chilling As usual, okra for me is just eh, okra. Well, eating okra always reminds me of the Philippines. Because we used to like put this in, inside the rice cooker and uh, cook it in there. And it made the rice taste like okra a little bit. All right, I think there's soy sauce somewhere. Is it this? So, Maya, I needed the place to put it in. Oh, I don't know. I was like, I was gonna put this in there. This looks like a. I thought it. I thought it was carrot, but it's not. I think. <laughs> I'm honestly confused as to what this is. This thing. Come on, zoom in. Boom. I don't know what that is. Eggplant. This is eggplant in looks like miso soup, miso paste. Mm. I love it. This is like tiny and plant. And got to use the American size. Mm, delicious. That was just simply delicious. I don't know what else to say. It's just eggplant with miso paste. It uh, tastes like it's white miso. Next one is watercress. Do you know what this is? <laughs> I think I know what this is. It says watercress. Pretty sure this is Kang Kwang. If it's not, then I'm wrong. <laughs> I rhymed. But um, less crunchy. I think this is the type of plant that floats on top of the water. Mm -hmm, yep. Cooked in some soy sauce and garlic. Um, common Filipino dish. Um, as you'll notice, Palawan dishes. 
tend to be a mix of Japanese, uh, American, and Filipino dishes, and of course, their local Palawan cuisine. I think I see little bits of bacon to add some flavor. Oh, yes. Mm. Delicious. Simple yet delicious. Perfect when you're having a bad stomach bag. Next one up is Taro Imo Tempura. So it's Taro deep fried Japanese style. Tastes like taro and tempura, but taro is a very common, it's not a fruit, what is it? Vegetable? Here in Palau, so you'll see it everywhere in all of their dishes. And uh, it's pretty good. I mean, if you like taro, definitely get this. That's all I can say. It's a deep fried tempura style. Tsugiwa sakana. That seems to be cooked in a stew or like a broth. Mmm. I think cooked in a little bit of uh, soy sauce and vinegar. Kind of like an adobo style taste. Again, I feel like I'm eating something Filipino right here. I'm gonna figure out what kind of fish it is and put it on the screen now. Next up, I've been looking forward to this because I love croquettes. This is a taro croquette. There we go. Yes. Mmm. Very well croquetted. It's got a bit of like Katsu sauce or okonomiyaki sauce, something like that on top. Yeah. Next one is this dude, which I believe is oh, this is tapioca, I think. You know, I feel like boba. This is boba. This is it. This is my tansei kabutsu, my carbohydrates for the day, because I'm on a diet, a Palawan diet. It's kind of like a suman. If you guys don't know what suman is, Google it. Hmm. Yep. Very, very subtle taste. Yeah, it's like you're eating one of those like um, mochi type thing if you're more familiar with Japanese stuff. But less sticky, a bit tougher, but you get that banana leaf taste into it. Next up is this guy. Come on, boom. Clam. Mmm. Mm. This clam is cooked in the crab broth. It's delicious. And finally, crab. This is the land crab, mangrove crab. Whoa. What is going on there? There's kind of like this coconut creamy thing on top. And then you got this strong crab, crab taste from the crab. I'm happy I don't have to crack open the crab anymore. Mm, delicious. Overall, if you were choosing here, you don't know what to decide and you want to taste Palawan food, definitely get the Palawan assorted plate here in Mug Mug Restaurant. Um, I'll take a short break, commercial break, on.